Hey everyone, this is JD. Welcome to Nerding IO. And today we're going to go over Langsmith. We just got a copy of the private beta key, uh, and so we wanted to mess around with it and go through the hello world, which today we'll specifically be going through Python. We're actually going to make this a little bit of a series, go through a couple of different exercises in future videos, uh, look at some JavaScript, and then also uh, dig into the UI itself. But for today, we're gonna go through the hello world and what that looks like. So Langsmith was just released about 10 days ago. It's part of Langchain, but it's specifically a UI for looking at debugging, testing, evaluating, and monitoring your LLM applications. And so what that means is you now have the ability to have this uh, way of logging, or logging your chains and then actually inspecting and testing uh, the accuracy of them, as well as like latency, um, as well in things like sentiment, uh, and even do like specific executors and evaluators. So even in the last week, there's uh, even in the last week, there's been uh, some additions. So they now have streaming in the playground, uh, some infrastructure changes, as well as uh, enhancements to the UI. One other thing before we dive in, I just wanted to announce that we're actually releasing Ever Efficient AI on Product Hunt. And so if you could please go over there and upvote us, we'd really appreciate it. If you have any uh If you have any potential AI applications, you can uh, and book us a call, and we'd love to go over what that looks like and see if we can provide any solutions for you. All right, so now we're going to look at the code. So I did put together a repo that um, hat will be an ongoing uh, way to to get all of the exercises you can download it doesn't have anything in there right now I'll push that after this video But basically what you're gonna want to do is go into lane chain um, If you haven't gotten the gotten access to the beta you won't see this but we'll run through the UI and uh, Show what it's like to to set up a new project and then go through the the hello world in the quick start and so First, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have an API key. So you just click this key down here and that will give you an API key that you can use in your uh, project. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, you can click new project and it'll come up with a default name. You can change this if you want. I already have a project, so I am going to go ahead and keep moving forward and click cancel. Uh, this is a project that I started a little earlier and uh, have already started the test. So basically what you can do is if you go to the quick start, which is right here, you'll notice that you need to do a pip install. We actually have that set up with the requirements. So you should have Langchain, Langsmith, uh, OpenAI, and then the .env environment. And what we'll be doing is just building a basic Hello World application using uh, this predict. And so the other thing to note is that you want to put in your in your .m file, which there's a sample here, your uh, link chain tra tracing, link chain endpoint, and then you'll get your API key, which we talked about, and then your project uh, name which is just right here. So then if we look at the predict.py, we're gonna be going through a couple of different things. And so this is just a really simple example. Like I said, it's a hello world example. So what we're doing is we're loading our .env file. Then we're loading in our chat model uh, this is actually processing the .env file here. Then we're actually instantiating or initializing the uh, chat OpenAI model. 
and then we're going to do a predict of hello world. So this will actually be traced in our uh, in Ling Smith itself, like you can see this previous run. So what we'll do is we'll get our uh, terminal set up and then we'll just go ahead and run this command. So now that we have our terminal pulled up here, one other thing I want to go over is also in the requirements uh, txt it shows an example of how to create a conda environment and so that's our preferred method of uh, having like an isolated environment for python you if you don't have any familiarity with conda we actually have a, a video that kind of goes through the basic uh, commands so you would go ahead and install it i'm already on my conda environment so um, if you want go ahead and check out that video and it'll help you out so now what we'll do is we'll run our Python command. So I'll make this a little small. So now I'm going to pull up a terminal and I am in my uh, Lang chain Smith examples in Python and I'm going to go ahead and do the predict function. So again, all we're doing is we're running that Python script that was loading in OpenAI and saying hello world. So as this is running, uh, we'll be able to um... All right, and so now we should be able to see, yep, it just popped in. So we can actually look at this particular run and uh, and, and trace it. So if we go ahead and look at this run, it's telling us where this in the stace track, in the trace stack, what is actually happening. So the really cool thing about this is you can add it to a data set, you can actually put in human feedback. So for instance, if the, um, if the information was correct or not so we could act to help us with uh, a human analysis of if this information was actually valid we can actually share this with people and then uh, one of the other cool things is you can actually open this in a playground and then test out different things so you can actually run continuously run that script or that particular uh, piece of the, the chain. And so we can just change this all together and we can say, can you learn Python? Uh, you can add multiple messages uh, and then we'll just go ahead and submit this. It's doing another run, it's actually streaming the response. This is one of the new features that that came out. Uh, the other thing I should point out is you you do have to actually put in your API key here, so make sure you do that. But then it actually gives the the amount of time, so how much latency this this actual execution of this run was. And same thing, you can actually rate it here. So with this playground, you can actually take the pieces of your LM of the chain and actually test that specific part so that if you really wanted to tweak your prompts rather than continuously running this particular function non-stop you could actually just use the playground itself so then when you come back to actually look at the uh, the project you can see all the different uh, runs so we know that we have uh, all these different pieces. But you'll notice that this the amount of projects jumps to three. And that's because the playground is considered its pro a project itself. So you can actually go back and look at the particular tests, looking at the latency um, that you've run, uh, seeing all the tags, and uh, filter on, on this. So this is really interesting that you, not only can you monitor this, but you can actually dive into what is taking uh, longer and or how many tokens are 
are there and actually filter this information to do some really good diagnostics on, on your lane chain environment specifically. All right, so thanks for joining us today. This is uh, going to be a little bit of a series. Like I said, we're going to be diving into uh, JavaScript, Hello World, as well as in the future, we'll go through some scraping examples so that we're actually testing things like uh, the SERP API, uh, maybe look at LinkedIn and some other uh, scraping examples. So please continue uh, in our series and thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, please uh, upvote us on Product Hunt. Happy nerding. <laughs>